first thing we talk about was setup. Okay, yeah. and hopefully you can see on these two images now quite a difference in terms of the setup, in terms of your spine angle, the arms hanging down, and the club now at an angle compared to where you were at club and the arms, uh, or in a straight line basically. Yeah. Your posture is very upright, and your head's just sort of dropping down. So as a yeah. result of that, you couldn't really rotate that effectively. Okay, it was yeah. more a question of sort of using your lower half a lot. Putting a lot of pressure on your left knee. And I think that's the pressure I was putting. Yeah, of you course. Know, yeah. I'm trying to well, again, if your arm, if, if, if you, even a goal club, it's not that heavy. If your arms are out and away from your body, you're putting pressure now yeah, up here. Yeah. If you hold held your handbag down the side of your body there, it wouldn't feel that heavy. If you walk around with your handbag arms out there, after yeah. a while, yeah. you're going to feel a lot of pressure now top of those shoulder blades, which is yeah. why when you come off the golf course, you feel the pain in, in the knee mm. and the back because of those two things compensating for the setup of keeping your head down that you've been told time and time again by That's everyone right, yeah. okay so once you've got a better movement now we can rotate the top and again because we're in a better position we can rotate through lovely strike as we can see and we can rotate the body a little bit more through okay yeah. in time what I, we I mean, will see yeah, is a more. fuller movement okay yeah. there is some obviously some swings you made there with the no ball where this foot was up on its toe and that right hip was rotating and the right shoulder was rotating fully yeah. but ultimately from the better posture it, okay it has, it, it what felt... it what it will do is improve your bad shot yeah okay it did feel much better anyway. and we can see the ball we can crack it, the ball sailing away there in the distance i mean you can see it that's gone there really really high with not hasn't gone that far off the club face and that ball's up in the air sailing away really really good shot there we can sort of see in the circle there and carrying best part of 100 yards so what we'll find by changing the setup yeah. we improve the bad shot yeah. by tweaking that swing and getting a little bit more twist both sides will improve the good shot yeah okay which yeah. is nice but ultimately if we can improve the bad shot that makes the game so much more easier because if you're not playing shots from sort of the rough or the trees or chipping out of the stuff yeah. on the side if your bad shot isn't sort of shooting off the side I here or I, low I left or I think I've topped. avoided that because I've yeah. avoided that club exactly, I use yeah. You know the clubs that I know that I'll get. You get some sort of distance, yeah, yeah which is fine. But it's but it's no. It's limiting to... yourself, isn't yes. it? If you're using clubs that you said number one, you were losing distance, yes. which you will do with this setup, with your yes. arms up high and the tension in the back of your shoulder blades, and then using a club that doesn't go as far. If you're That's using right. a hybrid or a seven or a five iron, it's not going to go it's as far as your five iron. No. So you're losing distance with your technique. Yeah. Using a club that goes less distance. Yeah. And not swinging through it as much because you're trying to protect the injury. That's so right. you can see how quickly if you use ten yards per element that's yeah. 30 yards you've lost yeah and 10 yards per thing is not a lot 10 yards is from oh, here to the end of the corner there with the range so it's not a big distance but over those things added up over a long period it, makes, it, makes... it brings your distances back a lot and then of course yeah. the golf course now is getting longer and longer and longer oh yeah Tell me so that. yeah <laughs> certainly if we can get that better posture to start with okay and that's going to be your number one focus on the course now yeah. get that posture better i think with practice if you're on the range or you're on the golf course practice that movement getting your top half to turn better rather than too much lower half movement. Okay, so you can still see a little bit of lower half movement there. Yeah. But as we said, with your old swing yeah. and a better posture and a better setup, we can hit the golf ball pretty darn good. What we'll do then is we improve the swing, hit the ball even better. Right. But we're improving okay. your bad shot number one. So Makes there's sense? Hope there. There's always hope there, Maureen. <laughs> Does that make sense though, yeah? Yes. Good. Okay, have a couple more then.